I'm in the tri-rail here in Florida uh, on my way to um, Broward. Uh, yesterday I got this um, I got this call from Nine, which is a talent agency here in uh, I guess in Florida, which was a bit odd because I was like, okay, I don't normally work with talent agencies. If anything, I'll cast you know models from like agencies that I know from. Um, and they kind of pulled the switch on me where they were like, oh, we would like to talk to you to see if we can maybe represent you. And I was like, oh, okay. And they had like all my information, which I didn't even know where they got it from. They contacted me. First of all, they sent me a text. Um, and then they sent me an email and I was like, okay, I'll, you know, I'll buy it and I'll go and check it out. So I'm on my way right now. Um, it's called Nine, so to see what they say and, uh, I guess what their spell is. And, um, <laughs> and I guess once I get there, I'll find out. I probably won't be able to record very much while I'm in there, just because um, it's an agency. Uh, but I guess I'll try if I can. But um, I'll definitely let you know what happens once I'm there. We'll see. We're going on an adventure. <laughs> I feel like I wasted an hour and a half of my time. I mean, I knew I would, but I kind of wanted to expose a bit of the dark side of the industry that I work in because you have these uh, little boutique agencies who are out here exploiting the passion that people have to be in, you know, fashion. Uh, to be on TV, to be in all these, you know, um, I don't know, to be in all these, like, all these, all these things, you know, that, that people are passionate about. Um, and it's, it's actually a little bit, it's sad and it's frustrating because you have uh, people who come to these meetings and they expect you know they have all their hopes high and, and stuff because they want to be represented they want to they want to you know work on their passion or whatnot unfortunately you know these agencies and i don't even think they should be called agencies because to me it's just it's just a regular business um i mean i don't know if they actually have contacts in in the market but like they hype people up when they get there um and they did it tonight and i just i was pretty sure i knew they were going to do that tonight but i wanted to i i didn't want to like record it even though i should have done so because they they hype you up and then they hit you with like another meeting after the talk that they give you and they say but you have to pay uh so and so like i think they, they said 4.99 um, so that you can be in their, in their online database and then they'll start promoting you and whatnot. And I'm, I'm an editor. I'm just like, I know how, exactly how the industry works. In fact, I've hired models to, you know, for my productions, uh, for campaigns, for, you know, video. So I know exactly how the industry works. Um, but the thing is, <laughs> so I, I, I was like, I, I was like, listen, I'm going to pass, but thank you for your time. I should have recorded it. Oh my God. It was the funniest thing ever. But, um, I feel bad. I feel bad for the people that are there that stay there and, or, or the, or even worse, the people who like pay four ninety nine. Like it's awful because at the end of the day, that doesn't guarantee you a job at all. And she was so like, you know, adamant, like, yeah, we're going to definitely promote you and yada, yada, yada. I almost wanted to be like, listen, I, you're talking to 
was a real person in the industry. Like, I, I'm, I have relationships with retailers, with designers. I produce shows at New York Fashion Week, both in New York, Miami, and L.A. Um, and I just wanted to put a stop to it. But, I mean, it's, it's, I'm, it was just awful. So, I just kind of wanted to expose a little bit about, like, the dark side of the industry. Um, and it's, it's, it's sad. It really is sad how people go about in exploiting people's dreams, you know? I, I'm, I'm speechless. I really am. Because at the end of the day... Oh, and the funny thing is I'm, I'm somewhere like in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm in Cypress Creek, which is north from where I am. And I'm really in Miami. And they were calling themselves, they were calling themselves um, their agency that, that they said that the agency was located in Miami. That's what it said on their website, which is not at all. Um, she said that she has offices in Atlanta, yada, yada. I, I don't know if that's true or not. Um, but at the end of the day, I really feel bad because you had kids there and their parents and their parents want their kids to succeed, you know? And they're going to go out there, work their butt off, try to get that $500 you know, fee so that they can technically be promoted or whatever. Um, something needs to be done. These agencies need to be exposed for the fraud that they are. It's awful. Um, I hope that, you know, my little video can shine a light a little bit about these so-called agencies, which aren't really agencies. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't do video in there, but the agency itself, I should stop calling it an agency, but the business itself is called Nine. It's based here in Cypress Creek. So if you're out here in South Florida trying to get into the industry, go to a legitimate agency like IMG, Front management, which is a boutique one, but a legitimate boutique one, and it's based in Miami Beach, uh, run by my friend Christian Alexander. Um, next, Ford. Go to a legitimate agency that has an actual history with booking talent. Not like when it comes to these little tiny boutique firms, yeah, a lot of people can't get to one because of where they live, but if you can't, Submit online. But the gist of the story is, if an agency isn't going to invest in you, and if an agency, is, if, if, exactly, if an agency if isn't, going, if isn't going to invest in you, then it's not worth your time. No legitimate agency will ask you for money up front. They're there to invest in you. There's a contract that you need to sign. And at the end of the day, when you start booking gigs, a percentage of your, of your earnings get put from what they invested and that's how real agencies work not like these little wannabe agencies that ask you for like money up front that's awful it really is I think as a person who also has dreams we need to be careful out there and Just watch out for these scammers. Good night.